I'm a graphic novelist, but I'm going to be showing you my political cartoons today. And I'm a, the basis of political cartoon is caricature, which I'll explain why in a minute. I'm going to share something that um, I, I heard what I was told by the inventor of the internet, Sir Tim Berners-Lee. And he said that what's really amazed him and surprised him about the internet is that the most invisible and voiceless people can now be seen and can be heard. And taking comics as a medium of social change and putting them straight out there and saying everything you do can have political import, everything you do can feed into a wider political discourse, I think that helps people make connections with how what they're doing can be part of a bigger project, part of a bigger idea, part of a bigger movement. Sometimes when I talk to young people, it's hard for them to get their point out. Or if I say this have a debate, that sounds boring. So I think the art helps you to get things out that you might have trouble saying in words. Um, even with me today here, um, I'm not very good at art. I'm not very good at speaking. That's just not true, but anyway. But um, I've been able to get out some messages in the workshop so I can see how art can actually be a powerful message, you know. And with the kids I work with as well, whether they're good at art or not, they can still get their point out. So I think it's a good thing, yeah. Art has always been used as a, a form of expression for people who are oppressed in some way. So artivism is, is very important for different communities, marginalised communities as well. So I think that workshops like this really help to show that using art as a form of activism isn't new. And it, it's good to enhance your, your skills and learn more and see what other people are doing and share skills and whatnot. So yeah, it's very good. I've taken a different look to it ever since I've started working at the House of Illustration. Like it's opened my eyes to see art in a different perspective and see it as it's not just like because there is art and there's illustration and then there's like this illustration that makes really big impacts on people. So ever since I've been there, I've basically realised that it's like it really does impact, you know, um, people's lives because we see it everywhere and we just don't know it like. We see it everywhere, like a crisp packet, like, you know, an advert or a comic book or just anything. And we, we don't know it, like our jumpers, like, I don't know. So it's really cool. As an activist, I sometimes struggle to get the right messages across to the right people. Um, I think we have a lot of good things to say. Uh, I work on migration, for instance, and I think it's quite an important issue to talk about at the moment because there's so much xenophobia around and such horrible policies that are having a very real, very direct effect on people all around us. Uh, not just at the borders, I mean the borders are like creeping in everywhere, uh, even in like London, the raids, deportations, detention centres. Um, and um, But it's really hard to get that across to people in a, uh, that don't deal with these borders because they're kind of invisible to most people. And it's the way of getting those, those sort of stories, the way of getting those um, experiences across to people. I think you need to produce something visual. When I was in school and things, we'd have to do debates. It never really engaged me. Um, so just sort of seeing different methods. And I feel like comics are a really good way to engage young people these days. Um, so I find it really useful the two days and like I feel like now I can go back because I work with young people and like spread these like methods that I've used so yeah I think it's been really useful. I really like the uh, uh, presentations about different uh, uses of art to uh, deliver a message. Comics as a medium are really denigrated, they're not taken seriously, they're, it's assumed that it's something that's just for children. There's great power in comics, it's really possible, it's dynamite, it's like advertising. You can take words, you can take images, you can combine them in any combination and you can make any message that you want. When you see people doing that, for the forces of good for inclusivity, for variety, for bringing people from all kinds of backgrounds, all walks of life, and, and validating their story. That's got to be a very powerful experience. If everyone decides, I realises that they can contribute in a very small way by, by one line, by, by even a drawing, or just by expressing, by sharing, uh, you can, a small change can lead to something much more fundamental.